This video is going to walk you through the process of doing some basic editing in iMovie. Um, so the first thing I will do when I open iMovie is I will be creating a new project and I'm going to make a movie. From there down below I need to add in some media. So I've already recorded some video footage using QuickTime and so I'm just going to drag and drop that video right in here. And then a couple things you'll notice right away is that you can see that there is um, a visualization of the sound level of your clip right here. And so if you notice that it's very, very low um, or very, very high or maybe possibly uneven, um, you will want to be adjusting that um, volume level. Okay, so you can do that by simply hovering over this and then pulling down or up. You don't want it to get into yellow or um, red if it's really loud. You do want it to be somewhere in the middle. You also do want it to be even. So if you notice that there are segments that are um, not even or you need to crank up the volume on a certain segment, um, there's a couple things you can do. Um, the first thing I would do if I wanted to crank up the volume is I would click somewhere. Let's You can see there's a big dip in volume right here. Um, I'm going to single click there and then I'm going to do a two finger click and do split clip. Um, what that does is it gives me two different video clips that I can edit. I could simply take the volume down of this clip or bring it up, whatever I need to do. I also will be using the clip feature um, to cut out pieces of a video clip that I don't need. So at the end here there's kind of just some silence so I'm going to click here, split it, and then I can click on this segment and then click delete. So now that clip is gone. Another thing you'll likely want to do is add in titles. So you can click up here and select a title that you want to include. I'm just going to use this one for demonstration. You simply drag it and drop it down onto the timeline wherever you want it to appear. You can change the length of how long this title appears on the screen, just like so. And then in order to edit the text, you just click over here and type in whatever you need. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to do picture in picture. So if you want to have your video clip up here with your face in it, you can also include an image, maybe possibly over onto the side. So I'm going to grab this image that's here on my desktop and I can drag it and put it on top of um, my video clip here. And then I notice there that it's a little bit skinny so I might adjust how zoomed in my um, timeline editor here is so that I can stretch this out because I want it to appear on the screen for you know, about three or four seconds here. Um, and so you'll notice that when I play this, it takes my face out of the video clip and goes directly to this image. You can do that, um, but another thing that you can do is called picture in picture. So if I click on this and then go up to uh, the tools that are up here, I can click on this tool right here. And then below that, I can go to picture in picture. So what that does is it gives me a little image that I can uh, move around the screen, I can make it bigger or smaller, and then it just simply appears in the corner when I want it to. So that is the basics for the project you'll be doing for iMovie. When you're all done with your video project and you feel that it is as edited as you want it to be, um, what you do is you go up to this share button in the upper right hand corner and you click on that. You're going to save it as a file. There is an option to go directly to YouTube, um, but it occasionally does fail. Uh, so it's easier if you save it as a file and then you can later upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to click on file. And for the most part, these defaults will work just fine. Um, you can choose to compress it faster, lower the quality or higher, you know, make it higher, um, change the resolution as you see fit. It gives you an estimate of how long it's going to take to um, completely encode your video and then also how big that file is going to be. So then I'm going to click Next. I choose a location that I want to save it and hit Save. 
you will see the progress of your video being encoded up here. And you need to wait for this to be completely done before you take your video clip and upload it into YouTube.